Forever Cafe fans, it's Debbie Sayer here today. I want to show you how I made this um, Cascade card using the new December kit. Um, one of my favorite kits. Um, I made this Cascade card back, it's been about a year ago, and I submitted it for a, pro for a project to um, Spellbinders, and, it, and the Cascade card was a feature in the... Um, the spring card maker magazine it was on the front that one used a 12 by 12 sheet of paper um, I've kind of adapted this one so that it's more it's an eight using your eight and a half by eleven that comes in the kit so this is how you do it the first thing you need is you need your craft paper and you need a pencil and you need some type of ruler or guide or so of some kind and I'm going to use um, my uh, grid paper that um, that I got from Stampin up um, so the first thing you'll need to do is make a mark at five and a half, and I'll put these on the on the blog on the Rubber Cafe blog too, and at two and a half, and then you need to cut across. So that's what I'll do first. Okay, so there's that piece. It leaves me with another piece that's just a little big, so I'll go ahead and mark that one and trim it down. That way you can make this card with just one sheet of your 8.5 by 11 paper. See, it's just a little bit big. So 5.5 and 2.5. And, and, and I use a guillotine cutter, so um, it's not one that I can move easily, or I'd move it to show you. Um, now I need to make a few marks on here. <clears throat> the first one I need to make is, and you're going to do this for both sheets of paper, um, at two and three-fourths inches on the tall side, and make another mark at one and a fourth inches. And then I just used this extra, this other sheet and you join these two marks together and just a light faint mark there you go and do it again on this side too the, the time you need your score, scoring tool I'm going to back this up a little bit and it won't let me okay great okay so I'm sorry if you hear the drill from upstairs my husband is installing um, tile and a new backsplash in my kitchen, and he decided to do it today. So I'm not going to complain because I've been waiting for two years, but you know. Um, so you see how I have my piece of paper in here, okay? So you score at two, at four, okay, at eight. And at 10, okay? And then make a little pencil mark at the 6 inch spot. And I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you why in just a minute. Okay, and do this again. 2, 4, 8, and 10. And make a little mark at the 6. Okay. side. Now you're going to take your, um, on one of them you'll need to cut from the bottom up at the, where's the middle mark? Oh, I'm doing it on the wrong side. Here we go. At the two and the, at the two and the ten. And then, well, I marked it on the wrong side, but it'll still be all right. You need to make your six, six, 
six inch mark at the same side that you put the other mark on. So we've cut at the, at the 2 and the 10 and from the bottom to the score line or to the, to the pencil mark that you made. Can you see that? Now you need to cut from the top up, from the top to the score line at the 6 inch mark. Do not, do not score that. Okay, let's fix this one too. Because remember, you have to make your 6 inch mark on the same side that you put your middle mark here because that's the mark that shows you where to um, cut to and you'll understand why in a second okay so let me okay so this one we're going to cut down because these remember we cut up so now we're going to cut down at the two and the 10. Okay, I'm going to cut up the 6 to the mark. Sometimes I go just a little bit over the mark. Okay, so now it's time to put it together. So the first one is, let's see these two. Slides right in there, see that? Okay, so then just cross it over, cross it over, and put these two together. See? See that? Cross it over, cross it over. Okay. There you go. Now, here's where your white eraser comes in handy. You can just get rid of your pencil marks that you made if they're in the way. I've covered everything with paper on the one that I did already. You can see that? Is that not neat or what? So, I can take it apart and show you again. Just so you make sure you know. Okay. So you've cut down on this one, and you've cut up on this one, and it just slides together at the two, slides together at the six, but we didn't score it, remember? Okay. And now it slides together at the ten. Look at that. Now, this is a 6x6 six six paper pad, and because of that, that means you don't have a whole lot of paper to deal with. So, for the back, I like to put, like, a die cut on the back, and I cut a um, curved rectangles. It's kind of an older die set from um, Spellbinders. Um, the next one I did, though... I wanted to put um, paper on it, but I didn't want to waste the middle because I needed it. So, because I only wanted to use one sheet of this paper for this so I could make two for you. So what I did was, I cut the middle out of it. See that? And then I'm just going to go like this. And I'll put it on the back and nobody's going to see. And then I have the front this is what's on the front, see? See here, this is on the front. This is the only part of the back that shows. So, you want it to look pretty, but you don't want to waste all that paper because it's only a six inch piece of paper. So, using my Scrap Happy Sheer Glue and my tiny, with my tiny detailer thing on it, which is like the best thing ever, I gotta tell you. I'm going to glue that together, and I'm going to glue it up as high as it'll go. 
You could even cut this in half or cut it so you could use the rest of this for something else if you didn't want to do the way I did it. Okay, so then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cover this with the glue. Okay. And then I'm going to straighten it because it, it'll be kind of cattywampus if you don't, if you're not careful. And I'm going to glue it together. And I'm going to straighten everything up so it's right the way I want it. Okay. Now, another thing I did was I cut a piece of this paper to go over that this little flap right here. Now, you don't have to do that. You can, you know, just slide some paper in or whatever. But I wanted to cover that. Now, when you do that, it does make it so it doesn't come out quite as far. But it's still a great... Um, cascade card without that little flap on it so that is totally up to you so um, I just kind of eyeballed it I cut the square and then I just kind of marked it where the middle was and just kind of eyeballed it and just add your scrap happy sheer glue I'm going to press it down And I'm going to hold it for a few seconds just to show you where it goes. Okay. See that? There's the back. There's the front. And there how, there's how it goes. Okay, so let's start decorating our sides here. So on the back sides, I've already cut these. These are two inch, um, two inches, and they'll fit right in there. And if they don't, you can trim them a little bit if you want. And if you have a pencil mark, you just take your, take your little eraser, and so this is how. I think I'm going to trim mine just a little bit. <laughs>
Swish Big Happy Birthday um, Cascading Card. See the bottom? Here's my first one. 